All right, here we go. Starting right at 1300, which is the pass fail line for this bat. We're using the NX3 Tattoo USA 52 300 core softballs. All right. Bird. Cobra Jet Mach 1 428 unloaded version, whatever this thing is. 13 and a half inch barrel, half ounce unload. First got to swing this thing. Crooked arrow. Stable. He's cute. This is a black bat with blue paint and almost looks purple. It has orange or red orange outlining on all the words. We have a blue knot cuff on it. There's a plastic or rubber connection piece in the middle. It is an ASA bat. It has really nice feel. It swings really, really good. Um, some of it is matte painted, some of it is shiny painted, and it was decent at best. Swung a lot like the creature. Uh, felt like the creature. Sounded like the creature. Um, felt at contact a little more, give, like it had a little more flex in it than the creature did. That may be the four piece versus two piece because it has that uh, connection piece with the sleeve versus with the creature is a solid handle. Uh, swings really smooth. I mean, the bat is really easy to swing. Um, performance is lacking. Uh, it takes a lot of work to find this, the best part of the bat. It doesn't so much have a sweet spot as kind of a, a hot spot, and the rest of the barrel is kind of good. Um, decent bat. I mean, I would I would say this is good for a guy that just kind of slaps the ball around, wants to work the field. Not great for much else. guys were saying before it did swing great swung very light I think there's supposed to be a half ounce unload I honestly feel uh, felt balanced to me it was that light so it took a little while to kind of find the barrel but it swung easy great base hit back not a whole lot of pop behind it I think I hit a couple out but I mean I, I was not impressed with the with the pop but like I said it, it swung okay I wouldn't game it but if I was looking for a quick base hit, if we were out of home runs or something like that, then I, I would swing it.
great numbers for us. I think I dropped out at 90, um, which I'll take that for me. But uh, trying to hit anything we could to get this thing to go any higher, I couldn't do it. But we got some decent numbers. It's a good bat. Uh, you know, again, here to here, sweet spot is the, is the whole thing. It's, it is what it is with the sleeve in there. You don't have to worry about a miss hit with this. Just, just hit, just hit it. Make contact. So uh, performance is, is the same throughout. It's like the of the Patriot, the EST, the future, that same line, the KP23, the Primo, like all those bats that we did, they sound very similar, they feel very similar, similar design, similar tech, similar performance. So, um, all right, we'll get the numbers out when I can, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks. before about this bat in my hands this is one of the best feeling weighted bats whatever with the, just the way it feels in my hand the grip the, the weighting of it uh, super like this is I don't know, like a dream feel to me uh, I know it's got the half ounce end load it might be a little touch shy of that uh, but again it feels phenomenal in my hands uh, I wish it would hit a little bit better than that this was at the past fail line for the pressure coming in for tonight so we'll test it when I get home and then we'll see uh, 1300 is the fail line and that's right at 1300. So this bat will not, cannot get any better than what it is right now uh, and still pass for legal play. So, uh. All right, ending compression is about 1290, just under 13. All right, that's all we got on this one. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.